Time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, imagine this. I mean, here we've been getting out the T-shirts, the tank tops, ready to go for this weather. And then by Friday, it's back to coats and trying to bundle up once again and stay dry. Let me show you what's happening here as we take a look at the weather headlines. First of all, I just marked down here thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, of course, are possible later tomorrow afternoon. I think they're more isolated. We'll see them kind of here and there throughout the area, but that could still continue all the way through Friday. Then when we talk about rain showers, I think the rain really starts up probably about 11 o'clock tomorrow night, maybe one o'clock in the morning on Friday. It's going to be raining throughout most of the day, just off and on into Friday afternoon before it actually starts to decrease. I'll have the amounts of rain coming up. It's fairly significant and gusty winds are still part of it. Even tomorrow afternoon, some wind gusts up to 20, 25 miles an hour, possibly even stronger if you happen to be near a thunderstorm. What a difference, right? A day makes. Well, let's get into this. As you look at the satellite right now, there are a few showers around Twin Falls. Now keep in mind, this is going to come up the interstate. We might see a light shower in the Boise area. That's uh, overnight, just to let you know that. And where this is all coming from is a low pressure system that's off the coast of California. You can see the moisture here that's developing throughout Utah, as well as northern Nevada, and that's what is going to be coming up from the south. We'll watch it here for the next couple of days. So the future cast shows that line of light showers around Twin Falls moving up toward Boise. This is very early tomorrow morning. Now during the day, you can see there's not much to it, but there are some thunderstorms up here in the central mountains. As the day continues, that's pretty close to Boise, so we could still see a few as they kind of move through the area. But likely most of the rain as you get into early Friday morning as well as Saturday and there it is, excuse me, early Friday morning throughout Friday, there's most of your rain showers. There's some of the snow on some of the mountain peaks. We're not looking at a lot, but you wouldn't think with some of these temperatures recently that we'd be talking about still putting some more snow on top of the mountains. Now you still see some of the thunderstorms throughout the area as well as some of the rain showers moving in. As that continues to turn and move through, there'll be some gusty winds with it and then it finally starts to let up for Saturday. Saturday, Sunday could still see a few scattered showers. Now I want to start this one computer model. Uh, this is probably showing the most in the way of rain showers, but you can see by tomorrow, late in the afternoon, there could be about two hundredths of an inch, so not expecting a lot for tomorrow. But then later tomorrow evening, it starts to pick up and into Friday. And there we go. And that's when you look at some of these big numbers. Now, this has been going up and down between about oh, a half an inch to a little, a little bit over an inch. So we have to kind of watch that closely. And you can see about a half an inch in Twin Falls, but it just shows us that we're going to be getting quite a bit of rain as we get into Friday. Here are your temperatures around the Magic Valley for tomorrow before it all begins. Maybe a light shower overnight, but still some showers coming down in the mountains. And I think at this point with these temperatures, we're still looking at rain showers down here in valley locations. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s. So here's a drop of about 15 degrees from today with a temperature of 70 degrees. So the seven day forecast, there's the rain showers for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, some scattered showers. We still have some showers coming down into Monday. Next week, the temperatures go from wow. Take a look at that 55 on Friday. Oh. <laughs> That's a big difference. You know yeah. what, though? It's not too bad. It could be worse. <laughs> well, we'll not, just wait and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see <laughs> what it comes feels. To. But it does warm up the end of next week, getting near 70 degrees. Nice. Okay, Looking so it's forward bad. to it. Yeah. Kind of where we should be. All right, thank you very much, Rick. You know, it's been a